Hello, my name is Claudia Rodriguez. I'm teacher in UTPL in Ecuador, and I'm going to present my doctoral research plan entitled Media Competences in the Training of Indian Community Journalists, Needs and Challenges in the Face of Misinformation. This research is carried out as part of the doctoral program in communication at the University of Huelva in the line of media literacy. Changes in the information ecosystem have led to new habits in the use and the consumption of information. Public conversation has been digitized. Users have moved from being passive consumers to prosumers. Prosumers generate all kinds of content, including news, but they lack the competences that, in theory, journalists have as a result of their university training and which have to do with investigating, verifying, and confirming the facts. To support this study, we reviewed research related to media literacy in college students, and these are the most current. But the dimensions that uh, more fully analyze media competence are those proposed by Ferres and and present Visitelli in 2007 and 2012, respectively, and which have been applied by other researchers, uh, languages, ideology and values, technology, production and dissemination, reception and interaction, and aesthetic. And this served as a reference of this research. The research question is, what is the relationship between the media competencies present in the curricula of journalist faculties and the, the aptitude of journalists to counter misinformation? To answer this question, a mixed study is carried out, which assesses the media competencies in the curricula of journalist school, as well as the skill of journalists and journalist students. On the one hand, a qualitative study of the academic networks of the journalism faculties is carried out. For that, a content analysis was carried out with emphasis on the dynamics and relations between the training objectives and learning results of the subjects that make up these networks. This information will be contrasted in two ways. The first is through semi-structured interviews with journalists. A sample of 20 journalists from the four countries of Indian community was selected. They were interviewed on four topics, training and career development, information consumption habits, knowledge of misinformation, and media competencies. The second way of testing will be through a questionnaire designed to evaluate the media and information competences of students in journalism schools. The selection of the journalism faculties for the content analysis was made based, uh, based on the QS World University Ranking. Preliminary results show that the dimensions of interaction processes and production processes are developed more intensely in the training of a journalist, despite the fact that the greater professional demand points towards the, technologi the technological dimension. The figure shows the competences that dominate journalism training in each country. Most of the interviewers stated that although university training is key to the acquisition of competences that allow them to carry out solvent and quality work, the qualitative analysis of university curricula and research has been completed and the instrument for collecting quantitative information is under development. This instrument is in the process of being validated by experts. The most obvious contribution of this work is to revalue the journalistic profession as a warrantor of truth in an environment where there are many senders addressing many receivers at the same time. In addition, it highlights the need for updating the professional training of journalists plus a continuous training for practicing journalists. This research provides valuable findings related to the training of journalists in Indian community and to the needs and challenges that must be considered in order to improve the training of these professionals.
The methodology used that allows contrasting the information that comes from communication faculties, students who are trained to be journalists at the practicing journalists.